partner in the Osprey area, Fairfax, Minnesota. We milk 700 cows and farm about 1,400 acres of land. Well, I would, I would think just about everyone should be looking for a bull like DFI just on his, what he can, where he, he's one of the few bulls that can brew, break the negative correlation between protein and DPR, and protein and productive life. And um, so he should have widespread appeal. Um, well, DFI uh, goes back to a, the sire stack is a super shot mobile Freddy Lynch. And that Freddy, which is Freddy 3958, was our first big numbered genomic calf. And I believe at that time she came in at about 2250, which made her pretty elite. And so we're excited. The Lynch is still in the herd. She's a very moderate sized animal. Um, it has had several very, very good records and you just don't do any work with her. The Freddie I've sold half share in her. Um, a very, um, not a fancy cow, but a very rugged cow. A uh, never missed many meals and a thick cow with uh, very high components. Um, very durable. And then the, the moguls are by far the fanciest of them. Mogul does transmit the uh, more eye appeal. Uh, but I still think the Freddie and the Lynch will be more durable cows than the mogul. With Super Shot, Super Shot was one of the first bulls to be able to break the negative correlation between protein and DPR. And if you look at the Zoetis health traits, uh, the bull superstition, that blood is very, very good in the health traits. And Supershot goes back to a superstition dam. Um, and so DFI was fortunate to get from Supershot and the Freddies and the Lynch to get the health traits and 60 pounds of protein. And so DFI is the only Holstein bull, even of the young bulls, is the only Holstein bull that's greater than 60 of protein, greater than 3 for DPR, and greater than 7 productive life. The only bull in the Holstein breed that can say that. There's only 3 bulls in the Holstein breed that are greater than 60 of protein and greater than 3 DPR. And so that's always been a very difficult association to break, is that the higher production bulls tend to be the lower DPR bulls, and DFI is one of the bulls that's been able to break that very successfully.